My camera, I left my camera in the room and my cousin is still sleeping. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I found that my camera. It's now seven in the morning. I woke up like 15 minutes ago. We're leaving at 7.45 and I have like a little setup for what I'm gonna wear and stuff. So I'm gonna show that. I have my socks there, my jeans there, my shirt there. My jewelry here, earrings here, watch here, makeup here, water here, to do my hair stuff here, my bag ready, my shoes ready. I have like a weird feeling. I thought I'd be shitting myself in the morning. I feel fine. Like, if anybody doesn't know, this is a Spanish school and I am not fluent in Spanish whatsoever. I feel like I've been scared for so long that I've prepared myself for the actual day. So I'm good. I'm gonna get dressed, put on all my jewelry. Okay, so I did my makeup. Um, this is my outfit of the day. I'm gonna go eat quickly. Oh my goodness. It's currently 2.15 p.m. I have such mixed feelings. I love it at the same time I am terrified of it. It's so weird, like, if anyone from Ireland watches this, like, the schools are so different. I could write a book about the things that are different in the school. I couldn't film in school because it's a private school and no phones are allowed. I am so tired. Okay, so it is currently 4 p.m., exactly 4 p.m., it's like 4.01, and we're gonna go, like, buy books for me and stuff in the city center. So I'm not really going to vlog that because this vlog isn't really about me going shopping for books. It's about how my first day went and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly talk about it for a couple of minutes. I want to show my timetable. It's kind of cool. Basically, one difference is in Ireland, we have nine subjects and two breaks. And here we have six subjects and one break. But the subjects are longer. Like in Ireland, our subjects is 40 minutes each. And here it's 55 minutes each. When we were in class, we had to write our timetable because we don't get a sheet. We had to copy it from the board. And I thought that I wasn't going to have enough time because I don't know how fast people write things down here. So in order to write this down really quickly, I just took out my notebook and did it really messily because I was like, when I get home, I can just rewrite it nicely. So excuse how ugly this looks, but I just did this because I wanted to do it quickly. So this is my timetable. My writing is absolutely awful. I, you don't know how much I was rushing this. I was so scared because I was like, if I don't get my timetable down, who am I going to ask? But that was only in the very beginning of the class when I didn't feel comfortable speaking to anyone. After, like, at the, by the end of the day, I can, I already have some people that I don't mind asking stuff. So, excuse my off writing, but tomorrow, on jueves, I have maths, economics, religion, um, Spanish literature, Geography and history, double geography and history. And then Friday, I have maths, Latin, English, economics, art. And then, well, I forgot to finish the word. This is literature. So I wanted to quickly talk about my day. I basically we walked into the school and I was freaking out. Um, like in the morning when we were getting ready for school, I was scared. But for some reason, like... I didn't feel scared like I don't know how to explain it like I was scared of feeling scared but I didn't actually feel scared yet and then it's it takes quite a couple of time in the car to get to the school so the closer we got the more scared I got and I was like shit like I'm I'm beginning to become scared so when we got to the school I finally started having like this sounds weird, but basically, quick story thing. I am not afraid of. I mean, I'm afraid of heights, but I'm not afraid of airplanes at all. Like nothing to do with airplanes that I'm afraid of. I freaking love airplanes. But before any single flight I have, I get these pains in my stomach, like butterflies. But it it feels more like period, which sounds weird. But basically, it's like butterflies, but it's on the bottom of my stomach. I don't know how to explain. Basically, if you're a girl and you've had your period, it feels like your period to me. That's what I get when I'm like super nervous. As we got closer to the school, I started getting like butterflies, I guess. As we got into the school, when I was saying hi to Claudia's friends, not scary at all because I've done it before, the principal started calling out like class names 
And as he called out class, the teacher and the class would follow the teacher and go to class. And I was like, I knew that that was the point that I had to like move away. I had to like go on my own because before I'd be with my cousin, Claudia. Claudia? I don't know why I call her Claudia. But I knew that that was the point that I had to go on my own. So I literally, my eyes were like tearing up. Like, I wasn't that scared. I don't know how to explain it. It's like I don't feel scared, but my body does. I don't know how to explain that. But I was so scared. But for some reason, this atmosphere in the classes is so different that I did not feel awkward. This is like, sorry, Arland. But the classes, the atmosphere, like, I've been in the same class with the people for three years but it just you don't feel comfortable in the classes these classes I've been in one day and I don't mind speaking in it as long as it's not in Spanish which is a problem because it's Spanish school but um that is my summary of the day I don't think there's something else to say oh I was happy as hell when I was leaving basically this is the end of my vlog because the rest is shopping and it doesn't even have anything to do with the first day of school so that was my first day of school. Anna, if you watch this in the future, please make sure you learn better Spanish. Today you spoke no Spanish at all. Peace, much love. Have a nice first day of school or any day of school. Peace out.